Hello and welcome to Talking Business with Beverly. I am your host and business strategist, Beverly Wathauer. And so I want to thank you for joining us. Of course, as entrepreneurs, our goal here is to definitely help you to create the clarity needed so that you're able to create time and financial freedom in your business. And so we do this by not only addressing your business needs, but also your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, and relationship needs as well. And now join me in welcoming Angelique Jackson to the show. Hello, thank <laughs> you for having me. Awesome, and so Angelique, <laughs> She does it all. So she's, let me make sure I get it all right. Life coach, wellness yes. coach, executive coach. Uh -huh. She does it all. And so I brought Angelique <laughs> on just to have a conversation with us just about, you know, in this coaching and just ensure that we're pretty much living our best life. Yes. And so Angelique, before we dive into the conversation, I mm -hmm. love to play this game with my guests where I ask them three random questions. So are you okay. game to play the game? Yes, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Angelique, what's your favorite snack? Ooh, my favorite snack. Okay. <laughs> Don't laugh. Okay, I already started. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite snack is actually um, sea salted, dehydrated seaweed chips. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed I to laugh. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you have your seaweed. Okay. <laughs> As a child, <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? <laughs> well, as a child, uh, I used to always carry around this little stethoscope and I and I used to play operations, so I wanted to be an obstetrician when oh, I grew up. Awesome. Yes. And what is your favorite place to visit? <sighs> Ooh, okay. I would have to say most recently Paris. Uh -huh. I spent the summer in Paris last year and that was phenomenal. That was amazing. So that would be my favorite place. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So <laughs> let's go ahead and dive into this conversation. Okay. So Angelique, tell our, my viewers just a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, I'm Angelique Jackson. I am a transformational life wellness executive coach i'm a speaker keynote um, speaker an author uh, holistic guidance um, business coach you name it like you said i kind of do a little bit of everything because i believe in total life transformation not just pieces of your life but total life transformation wow and, and so, so how did you get started in all of this how did i get started <laughs> Well, the way I got started in all of that is actually, I would say it's been my life's journey. Mm -hmm. From the time I was a little kid, I always knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur. That was just in my blood. From the time I was eight, I used to have my little lemonade stand or I would go <laughs> and I would refurbish furniture with my grandmother and go to the open swap meet and have my little, um, my little spot next to hers <laughs> and I would do all those things. So at the core, it's always been... I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur, but more importantly than that, my core, the essence, the fiber of my being has always, how can I help others to see the greatness in them that I see in them? And so going back to when I wanted to be a, um, an obstetrician, I wanted to bring babies into the world. I wanted to bring life into the world until I saw that there was blood. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> right. <laughs> you figure out how to handle that. So I would say that what got me to this point is through my life's journey mm -hmm. from being in the corporate world. I worked in the beauty industry. I worked in higher education. Um, it's always been, how can I help you? How can I help you expand your mind? How can I help you feel good about yourself from the outside? How can I help you with your spirit inside and really feel good about yourself? And so through my own life's turmoils and things and discovering what it is that I was meant to do on this earth, I realized it was meant to be a light for others. Ooh, that, that is what I meant to do. And that. so that's why I am a transformational coach is to help you to see that light in you that you don't see in yourself yet. Mm, I love that. And so what's the mission of your business? The mission of our business um, is really, it's about how I can inspire, empower, motivate, 
um, really help to lift you up to be the best version of yourself possible, to help you to see and own your inner goddess, to be able to see that brilliance in your divine gifts, to pull that, that purpose and that your life's mission out so that you can walk in your greatness, so that you can um, do all the things you want in life because you were born to be great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and so it's so much stuff in there I want to talk about. So, okay. you know, when someone comes to you, what are they usually struggling with? You know, at the core, um, I would say sometimes they come and then the surface they're struggling with either their finances or they're struggling with um, a relationship or they're struggling with finding their career. But then that's just the surface. So what I help them do is peel back beyond that surface to really get to the core. And that's where their true transformation begins. It's really about owning their self-worth. That. That's where they're struggling, owning their self-confidence, their self-worth, that self-love to be able to live abundantly. And so in your experience, what has been, what's the root cause of them struggling with their self-worth, mm -hmm. their, their confidence? It has to stem from somewhere where mm -hmm. they hadn't recognized that. So with you, where do you usually notice that stems from? It usually stems from, because the first part of when I work with my clients is really about um, that self-discovery. So that's mm -hmm. the first phase of it, that self-discovery, figuring out what the three B's in your life are. And those three B's being your blocks, your barriers, and your blind spots. Mm -hmm. And people don't know, they think, oh, I have obstacles, but there are three B's to that obstacle. Those obstacles, those are your blocks. Mm -hmm. Blocks are typically the things that are like right in front of you. You can see a block, you can see the wall. It's either someone around you, it could be something of your yourself, or barriers such as like maybe financial barriers or, or there are barriers to um, knowledge barriers, not understanding, but then there's the blind spots. And the blind spots are our own self-limiting beliefs that we put upon ourselves. Okay. We don't typically see those blind mm -hmm, spots. Mm -hmm. And so I help them discover that. Okay, that's amazing. And so what are the three B's again? You said blind spots, yeah, help yeah. me help. <laughs> <laughs> the three B's are your, your blocks, your barriers, and your blind spots. Okay, your blocks, your barriers, and your blind spots. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you just mentioned your, um, when you mentioned the, the, the blind spots. Mm -hmm. And so, the self-limiting behaviors, the self-limiting beliefs. I want to mm -hmm. talk more about that yes. because you said sometimes I won't even recognize and you that's won't. what it is. Mm -hmm. So we're going to kind of, um, you know, give some ways that that's showing up in people's lives. So mm -hmm. if they don't realize it before now, <laughs> they'll realize it after we have this conversation. Right. And so we will continue this conversation right <laughs> after these messages. And welcome back to Talking Business with Beverly. I am your host and business strategist. And so before the break, we started this amazing conversation with Angelique Jackson. She's a transformational life coach, and I'm just putting it in a little nutshell. She does way more than that. But before that break, you were speaking with us about the three B's, and then you said a word that, um, you know, kind of still resonating in my head right now blind spots you blind spots and mm -hmm. so you mentioned you know even with those blind spots and how they can kind of show up but I may not recognize what mm -hmm. that is so kind of explain like what are some specific examples of me okay. in those blind spots that could be showing up in my life and I don't even realize what they are right so some examples of blind spots are things such as because first of all let me just explain mm -hmm. that I truly believe that your where thought goes energy flows. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we say we want something. But let's say, for example, you want a promotion. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're up for this promotion. And you think, okay, I really want this promotion because I want to make more money. But then in the back of your mind, you're telling yourself, I don't know if I'm good enough. I don't know. What if this other person? Oh, no, that person is applying to Oh, I think they may they're going to hire them instead. Those are those blind spots. Those are those limiting beliefs. Those are those little things that prevent you from being able to move forward mm -hmm. because that negative energy, that opposing energy is now keeping you from where you say you want to go. So although from the surface you say, 
I want this promotion. Mm -hmm. like, but who intrinsic want more money? Right, yeah, who right. Who doesn't want more money? Like, come <laughs> exactly. on. Exactly. But intrinsically, you start putting all these doubts in your mind. Mm -hmm. Or even when someone else is around you and they're saying, oh, you can't do that. You start believing it a little bit yourself. Mm -hmm. okay. So those are those little blind spots that you may not know mm -hmm. about. Another example of a blind spot would be um, an example such as people around you. Because sometimes the people around you are your blind spots. You love them. You've been with them. You've known them. They could be family, friends, coworkers, and they'll say little things that is to offset you, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. keep you from your mission, to keep you from your greatness. Not maliciously, mm -hmm. but they have their own limiting beliefs and they impose theirs upon yours. And so sometimes we don't recognize those mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And we have to kind of limit that energy. And, and when we recognize it, we're able to say, you know, I know you're saying that, but it's OK. Ah, so, you know, sometimes we say people are hating on us. Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. not, sometimes they do. Right. But <laughs> not necessarily in this case. It could just be almost like a, a protection type thing. Like they want to keep you safe from mm -hmm. harm. You know, what they may perceive as harm. Right. Because of their own experiences. Because but of their saying, own experiences, their okay. own limiting beliefs. And so sometimes as individuals, we believe what they're saying mm -hmm. because we trust them. Mm -hmm. And we are not realizing that that's a blind spot keeping you from where you want to go. Okay, that makes sense. And yeah. so I know that part of what you do, you know, to support your clients is help them to live like this limitless life. Yes. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I know. A lot of times people throw out the word being limitless. Mm -hmm. But um, in the way that we look at how what limitless is, mm -hmm. when you think about time and space, right, you think about this world, the world expands beyond that and into the sky. The sky doesn't end. The sky expands beyond that into the cosmos. And that expands into the galaxies, which expands into the universe. It's ever expanding. Mm -hmm. So there's really no limits out there to what we can achieve and what's available to us. So by living a limited life, that means being able to live the life you want without feeling that there is anything holding you back. So removing those limitations because abundance is always here. Mm -hmm. Opportunities are always here. So living a limited life means just that being able to live your greatest life without without worrying about the limitations of, from others, from yourself and just going out there and being. I love it. And so now, OK, so if my experience has mm -hmm. been lack and poverty, you know, that's mm -hmm. what I know. Like, how do you kind of walk me away from focusing on the lack to being able to, how do you get me, I guess, to see to that see. it's limitless? Right. Mm -hmm. Because the way that we have a two prong approach, mm -hmm. because there's acts and then there's seeing. Mm -hmm. And so we look at your behaviors, okay. the way that you present yourself to the world, how you act, how you respond to things. Are you responding to situations or reacting to the situation? And then from the seeing, it's about that mind shift. So starting to look at life from a different perspective, okay? So I have, um, to give you an example, I have this book that is in the editing that's going to be released soon called Broken Into Place. Okay. So think about when people um, come out of a bad relationship. They say what? They say, I feel broken. Mm -hmm. Oh, that broke mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Or they had this great job, but then they were laid off after 15 years. And then they say, well, I feel so broken. I feel lost. Well, in the way we shift our mindset is to be able to look at it differently, to look at that perspective differently, to see that, no, you're not being broken, but you're being broken into place because being broken is a beautiful place. Think about it from a mosaic piece of art. Mm -hmm. What is it? What is a mosaic? But yeah, it's, it's shattered. Yeah, it has all these different colors, all these different elements to right. it. Right. It's all these broken uh, pieces yes. that creates this beautiful mm -hmm. piece of unique art. Mm -hmm. That's what you are. You're a unique, beautiful piece of work that no matter what experiences you've gone through, no matter what the situations is, when you shift your mind to rethinking mm -hmm. everything in life, you start to see the beauty in it, mm -hmm. thus creating your uniqueness, your beauty, to be able to shine and walk through this world in greatness. So that is what 
being um, live and limitless. That's what it really means that when I work sense. with my clients. Okay, yeah. so shifting their, their thinking, Sh their thought pattern. Shifting pattering. their thinking, uh -huh. shifting their thought process, shifting their behaviors, mm -hmm. looking at every aspect of their life. So I take them through a life wheel, which looks at their relationships, their spirituality, mm -hmm. their, um, their own self-development, looking at every aspect to see where are you lacking? Where are you putting most of your energy? Where are some of the things where you can start to hone in on so that you can truly live this amazing, abundant life? I love that. Oh, that makes yeah. so much sense. And I want to talk about this wheel. Um, we're going to talk about okay. it. <laughs> and so we're going to continue this conversation right after these messages. Hello and welcome back to Talking Business with Beverly. I am your host and business strategist, Beverly Wathauer. And so we, right before the break, we were speaking with Angelique about how to live this limitless life. And so mm -hmm. I love that. I never really thought about it. So I love how you said that. And actually before the break, you mentioned, um, you know, looking at the life wheel and mm -hmm. looking at all the areas of your life. Is it possible for me to have a balanced life? So, you know, when I mm -hmm. say balanced life and love and, and relationships and mm -hmm. all that, so is it actually possible? It is possible. And see, that's where limitations mm -hmm. come in. Mm -hmm. When people say, oh, I can't have it all. Yes. Who says you can't have it we all? We hear that all the time. We though. hear it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have it all. You can't work and be a mm -hmm. mom and do mm -hmm. all these things and have this amazing life. Yes, you can when you find that balance. But that balance starts with you. Mm -hmm. It starts intrinsically. It starts within really coming in tune and in alignment with your own energy in your own space because you can't pour from an empty cup explain that because people say that all the time what mm -hmm. do you mean by I can't I can't pour from an empty cup what does that so mean? what that means is if you're giving so much of yourself to everyone else and not giving to yourself mm -hmm. Eventually that cup will run dry. You run dry. You will run out of energy. Then you feel drained and you feel ah, I'm doing all these things for everyone else and you're expecting them to do back for you. And these expectations start to happen. Mm -hmm. And then when you're, the expectations are not fulfilled, then it becomes, it's just that domino effect yes. <laughs> yes. of just rolling down the hill. You're like, oh my <laughs> gosh, I feel no one's here for me. No one is helping and all those things. So when I say you can't pour from an empty cup, mm -hmm. you have to have that self-love. You have to pour that, that energy into yourself first, that self-care. I'm a big proponent of self-care and self-love, understanding your self-worth. So taking time out and doing something that you love to do. I love hiking. Mm -hmm. I love to hike. Yeah. <laughs> What more person say they like to hike? I'm like, I, I okay, love well, hiking. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I love hiking because, like, one of my um, one of the things we do are inspiration hikes. So mm -hmm. I take clients out oh. and we go out into nature and we give gratitude and thanks and and we just be at one and at, mm -hmm. at um, within that present moment. So um, is I, you know the, I just love to hike, but the thing is from not pouring from an empty cup is you have to give to yourself first. Once you are in alignment, once your energy is full, then you can give to others. You give more of yourself to others as opposed to them getting your drained self. Mm -hmm. Whatever's you know, left over. What, what, whatever's left and over. And so what do you say to that person, especially I think it's really you know prevalent with women mm -hmm. because you know as women, you know, we're mom, we're wife, we're, you know, we're working we're outside the home. We're, we're we have business. Our exactly, literally, <laughs> yes. So what do you say to her about the guilt? Because once again, you know, well, what do you mean oh. you want to get away from the kids? You, you decided to have the kid. Wait a minute, you begged for this husband. And that, right. Like, how, what do you say to her about the guilt? I that's understand. With that? Being a mom of three, I completely understand. I was um, that mom. I ran around. I felt like I had to do everything until I was just running myself to a point where I had no energy. I had nothing to really give to them. So, what I say to them is, you shouldn't feel guilty about it because by taking away and stepping back into yourself, you can now give more. So, when you're there with them and you're present, you're truly present as opposed to being there physically, mm -hmm. but emotionally and mentally not being there because you've drained yourself. So I hope that helps you to release some of that. <laughs> some of that mom so guilt. don't you feel, feel guilty about it because wow. they understand. My kids are 20, um, soon to be 26, 23, and 17. And they tell me all the time, like, mom, I don't know how you did it. 
<laughs> you know, they, they're like, I don't know how you did it because I was one of those parents when I was married, we had kids and I went to college at a late as an adult. Mm -hmm. So I had to ba balance college yes. and home and I had to balance also working a full time job. Mm -hmm. And so there was guilt that mm -hmm. came into play. So I was running myself ragged and not giving to myself until I woke up one day and I said, who is this person yes. in the mirror? Yes. I didn't recognize myself, mm -hmm. wow. you know? So by n just giving to yourself, you can now give more to your family. Gotcha, okay, and so you use this term self-care, we hear this mm -hmm. a lot. Um, you know, what is that? Because mm -hmm. I immediately think I have to go spend a half day at the spa. At the spa. And, you know, <laughs> what is self-care? Well, self-care is more than just being um, at the spa. So self-care, although I love the spa. We can go to the spa. We can go to the spa. I go to the spa and I get massages mm -hmm. and things all the time. <laughs> but a part of self-care is really about um, being in alignment with yourself, mm -hmm. so your spirituality, because sometimes we let that yes. fade away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Having morning and daily rituals that are just for you. Wow, something you know, just for myself. Just for yourself, <laughs> something that's just for you. Take five, 10, 15 minutes in the morning and just be at one and at peace with yourself. So I do meditation, mm -hmm. um, I write in my gratitude journal, and I also write in my self-care journal. So I have three different types of journals okay. that I talk about. A gratitude journal, mm -hmm. a self-care journal, okay. and then I have my goal journal okay. of and what I want to attain. So we're kind of familiar with like a gratitude journal and mm -hmm. a goal journal, but what's the self-care journal? Yes, the self-care journal is important. And the reason why it's important and what I have my clients doing is on a weekly basis, I have them write out, what did you do for yourself today? Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in black and white, so in I can't, black and there white. Go. So I can't argue with the data that's <laughs> written right here. Exactly. So they have to write their day out to me each day. Mm -hmm. And so, um, as you mentioned, people know about gratitude journals. Mm -hmm. They write yeah. into it because mm -hmm. you say, I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful mm -hmm. for my job. But what about yourself? And that goes into your self care. And so your self care journal is what am I doing every day mm -hmm. that where I'm pouring into myself? And it doesn't mean you have to spend a whole day. It doesn't mean you have mm -hmm. to spend hours. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean any of that. It means you find that one thing that where you feel yes. good, where you feel at peace, where you feel great and you feel wonderful and pour into yourself yes. one time a day. I love it. Okay, grab your, go to the <laughs> self-care journal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so then what do you say to that person that's just like, Angelique, I don't know what my purpose is. Okay. I hear that a lot. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know my purpose. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what, um, what I'm meant to do in this world, mm -hmm. or I'm good at this, but I'm, it's not fulfilling. Mm -hmm. I'm not happy with doing this. And to them, I say, I completely understand. And that's because um, a lot of times we don't know. Mm -hmm. And it isn't that we don't truly know. Part of us does mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. but we haven't really been able to identify it to be able to bring it out and manifest it. So for someone who says they don't know what they're their um, life purpose is. Mm -hmm. I usually go through a series of activities with mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. The first and foremost is, is sitting down and doing a self-assessment of yourself, writing down your own personal statement mm -hmm. okay. or your own personal mantra or your own mm -hmm. personal affirmation. That's for you. So writing it down, figuring out the things that you love, what brings you joy? What is it that takes that energy to make you want to leap up out yes. the bed and say, <laughs> I love doing this. So identifying your life, mm -hmm. times in your life where you just felt so energetic about this is what I love to do. And then let's start working from there to discover what is your purpose? What are the things you're really good at? That you know, we sense. all have divine gifts. Uh, we all sense. have things that we are exceptional at. Yes. You know, there's some people who have an incredible stage presence. You know, they love being on stage. They love talking to people. But then fear keeps them off the stage. Oh, oh God, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, Angelique, <laughs> <laughs> look. 
I know they're just like, I need more. I need more. I okay. need more. So <laughs> where can they find you online, on social media, your okay. email address, your website? Please let us know more so that we can find out more information about you. Okay. So the places that you can find out more information about me, I have my website, which is Be Elevated. It's B-E-L-E-V-A-T-E-D, LLC.com. That's my website. And on my website, you're able to click for free consultations and things like that. Um, you can also find me on Instagram at Angelique, A-N-G-E-L-I-Q-U-E underscore Coach AJ underscore Jackson. That is my, I know it's a little long, but I've had it for a long time. That's my Instagram, but my Twitter, my Facebook um, page, um, you, and also you can find me on LinkedIn. You can find me at Be Elevated LLC on all of those platforms. Awesome. Angelique, yes. thank you so much for joining thank us. You. Thank you for having me. It You're was wonderful. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. So, thank you. And so I also want to thank you, the viewers, for tuning in as well. And remember, as an entrepreneur, you can definitely create the time and financial freedom in your business. Until next time. Thank you.